Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for Tack on My TBR. Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you all for your continued support. Um, I realized that. I never came back and said, asked how everybody's Halloween was. Um, our Halloween was fantastic. Uh, we went trick-or-treating with our two grandsons, and it was just really fun seeing Rora out there trick-or-treating. He's only two, he's two and a half, and um, he, did, he did the whole trick-or-treat thing, and thank you, bye, and it was just, it was just so cute. Um, this was his first actual real trick-or-treating. I mean, he went back when he was a year old, but didn't really do all that walking up and trick-or-treating and all that stuff um, at that point. So that was just fabulous. I had such a great time with my grandsons. So anyway, back to topic on hand, which is Tackle My TBR. I read two books last week. One of them was a prequel and the other one was a full-blown book. And the sequel I read was Satan's Affair. And this is a part of the Cat and Mouse duet by H.D. Carlton. Um, so I read Satan's Affair and I didn't really find that it it was supposed to come before reading Haunting Adeline and I didn't really feel like reading it before that really impacted the story at all. Um, and I ended up reading it after uh, reading Haunting Adeline because I didn't know that it existed. So um, I didn't really think feel like it impacted the story or answered questions that I had about Zade um, in, in Haunting Adeline. So it just really, it was like he was just a fleeting character in, in Satan's Affair. He didn't really have a really big part in that book and that's really what I wanted. I wanted something to explain Zade and explain his way of thinking and um, the things that he may do. Um, and I still haven't gotten that and now that I've read both of them because the second book that I read was Hunting Adeline and um, still really no um, no questions really answered about Zaid. Um, he grew up in a happy home. He loved his parents and yeah there was nothing really in the background. We didn't really learn much about, um, he has a scar across his eye and we didn't really learn much about that either. It, it had to do with, you know, um, the things that he does and what he, what his, um, job is in, in, in the book. Um, this is, as I, I told you before, this whole duet and, and prequel, um, is all very, very dark, and um, the prequel was as well pretty gory, and um, it, it, the whole thing covers human trafficking, which in itself would cause a book to be pretty dark, and H.D. Carlton really puts a darker spin on this whole thing that is going on in our country today, um, and can't seem to be stopped, but yeah it makes it super super dark um so anyways i said the second book i read was hunting adeline which is the second book of this duet and that is all that's going to be about adeline and zade and that's why i say questions still weren't answered um the story themselves are fantastic like in the first book um as i had explained in the tech of my tbr she is willed this house um, I think from her, her great, it was her great grandmother's and then down to her grandmother. And, you know, there was strange things going on in the house, but she was also being stalked at the same time. So it did give it that eerie, creepy feel. So that's why I stuck it in there for my, um, my spook season TBR, um, because it did kind of fit the bill. Um, and you know, in that one, like I said, she's being stalked and then you're getting into the story of the human trafficking and that kind of stuff. I don't want to say a whole lot in case you want to read it because apparently this book has gotten super popular. Um, 
when I went to Barnes and Noble and actually purchased the book, she said that was one of the number one sellers in in Barnes and Noble. Um, this book was also um, banned from Amazon because of her um, important note for trigger warnings and stuff. Amazon actually had banned it, and it is now back on Amazon. You can get it for both Kindle and you know book, so or in physical form. Um, yeah, so you know, just keep in mind that it is very, 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 very dark. But and I'm not saying that lightly either, because <laughs> it was very dark. Um, lots of gore, blood. There's sex. There's just a lot of really dark elements in there. So just keep that in mind um, and think about that because of the triggers and stuff before you decide you actually want to pick it up and read it. I got way off, off my topic for my TBR, like I said. Second book that I read was Hunting Adeline. This is book two in the duet. I'm not going to tell you anything about this one because um, this would definitely give away the storyline, and I'm not going to do that. But again, um, she said this one was was even darker, and I didn't feel like it was really darker I, I feel like a lot of things were exposed and um, it's worth the read just for that but um, again it's it's a duet it's on human trafficking and what comes along with that and these poor people and yeah so anyway just you know if you're interested if you can handle it if you can handle dark then I think you would really like this story. The story is fantastic. Even amidst all that darkness and all that gore and all that that comes along with it, it was still a fantastic story. Uh, I ended up rating um, Satan's Affair three stars because, like I said, it didn't really impact the characters that I was reading. So, I mean, one character, but that's going to be another whole duet, and that character is Sybil. Um, so that's going to be a, a, another duet. I don't know if I want to read that because Sybil is pretty crazy. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But, um, yeah, so there is, she is building a universe with this whole, uh, scenario or, or plot. And, um, we'll see what, what Sybil's getting into and what her life is like outside of hunting Adeline or Haunting Adeline, either way, but like I said, very good. Four stars for both Haunting and Hunting, simply because I don't know anything else about Zade. I haven't learned a background on him, so that was very disappointing. I was hoping that it was going to come to light a little bit more, but you know, you do watch them grow through the story, and you're going to like and not like and like and not like Zade. So, I think I ended on the note of not liking Zaid, um, but I don't know. You guys will have to judge that for yourself. But anyway, that is what I read last week, Satan's Affair and Hunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. They're fantastic. It's a fantastic story, you guys. So, if, you want, if you're used to this, if you can do darkness, jump right into it. And I would really be um, curious to know what your thoughts about either any of these books in this in this duet I'd like to know what your thoughts are just post those down below if you've already read these books also let me know what your thoughts were on this complete story because I really enjoyed it um, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today so thanks for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video bye